Hi, I'm Lena from Barlady's Body Blitz and here's my fur baby Minnie looking beautiful behind me. Hopefully I won't block her too much today. Welcome to All About the Legs Combinations. For today's workout, all you will need is a mat, some light hand weights to start off with, they are optional, and a chair for balance and make sure it's a sturdy one because we will be putting a bit of weight on there. So we're gonna get started with our hand weights and you're just gonna stand in a nice central position. Your knees are going to be soft and all we're gonna do is go side to side with some little squats and biceps curls. So I really want you to focus on sitting back and thinking about engaging the glutes. So whenever we're doing squats and lunges, unless I tell you otherwise, we're gonna be sitting back with those glutes as if we we're about to sit in a chair and all our weight is gonna be in the heel. And you really wanna think about squeezing the underside and towards the inside of your glutes because those muscles are very underused, but they really look great and lift your butt up if you focus on them. Four more, and three, and two, and last one. Now we're just going to go into a side lunge, side to side, and I want you to start sitting a bit deeper, stretching out that other leg in a thigh stretch, once again, hinging from the hips. You're never hinging from the waist, keeping your spine flat. Wide and wide. If ever the weights bother you, just drop them. This is predominantly a lower body workout. Four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to come into a squat and we're gonna raise the leg come back into the squat and stand. So it's in, it's out, it's in and stand. Now if you find that you lose balance here, it's because you're not holding your belly in strong enough, okay? You really need to engage the core and that's what's gonna help you with all balancing moves. Side to side. We're doing this slow and controlled because slower can sometimes be more challenging, not only on your muscles, but also on your balance. Four more of these. <sighs> Sitting down, up, down. These down up motions is what gets the heart rate up. Two more, side, and last one, and stand. Now come into a turn up position. We're just gonna start with behind. Curtsy, lunge, side to side. So on the down, I want you to push the weights towards the back wall, engaging your triceps. You still have a little bit of a hinge at the hips, but not quite as much. And make sure you step far enough and wide enough so your weight is balanced between both legs. Four more. Three, two, and one, we're gonna stay here, bring the knee up, and then bring the knee out. So it's up diagonal, out to the side. It doesn't have to be super low. I want you to focus more on this moving leg and squeeze up high, squeezing your glutes. So it's biceps and it's out to the side. Honestly, doesn't matter if you don't do anything with your arms. If this is too wobbly, you could even hold on with this hand, okay? Get the chair and just hold on to it. And side, front, and side. Let's do four, and three, and two, and last one. Now go behind and we're gonna do a kick up and a down. A kick up diagonal and a down. Now once you have it, I want you to lean towards the floor and reach for that opposite foot. Up and down. So this one is gonna put you a bit off balance, especially if you're on plush carpet like me. Never a good idea for balancing. But try, try, try. Once again, hold your tummy in. That will definitely help. At the back, I'm extending my arm up and squeezing my tricep. Four, and three, 
two and one. Step behind with the other leg. We're doing the same thing. And it's side. So it's more diagonal and then it's more side. So you're kind of twisting a little bit through this supporting leg. You can go slow here. You really just want to balance and get that leg up high. You don't have to go super low in the lunge, but I really want you to squeeze this moving leg up high. And side, up, and side. Nothing like a bit of cardio sculpt to get your sweat on. It's a crazy hot day here today. It's 38 degrees Celsius. And even with air conditioning, you get hot after a couple of minutes. Four more. And up. Three. Deep breaths. Two. And last one. Nice job. We're going to do that kick. So kick. Now one side is going to be tougher for balance than the other. Once you have it, reach down and kick diagonal. So that arm at the front there is going to go back into a tricep raise. So you really want to squeeze the back of your arm. And the kick doesn't have to be super high. And if you're wobbling around like me, that's OK. You know why? Because you're using so many core muscles right now to help you stabilize. So wobbling is not bad. Down and raise. Down, try to keep your legs straight. Doesn't have to go high, but I want it straight. If you can point your toe, make it look pretty. Four and three and two and one. Last little thing before we get the chair out wide in a plie. I just want to warm up our inner thighs a bit more because we will be using them in the next exercise. Come down and reach overhead. And so come down low. Weight is in the heels. Push forward with your inner thighs and back with your knees. You turn out as much as you can. We'll go for four and then we're going to raise our heels. Two. One, so now go down, raise up, down, raise up. You may need to come in closer. Down, raise up, down, raise up. Four of these. Three, two, one. Now it's down, heels, down, raise up. Down, heels, down, raise up. Takes a bit more balance, but you can do it. Only a few more, just four. Straight up, three, and up, two, and up. Last one, if you can make it through, and up. Nice job. You don't need your weights anymore, but you need your chair. So I'm going to stand front on, and then I'm going to show you side view as well. You want to stand in front of your chair, and you want the chair to be in line with your hip. Okay, we're going to come down into a squat, and eventually we're going to have one heel up, and then we're going to sweep this leg behind and tap. Okay, so it's going to go squat to tap. Then we're going to sweep the leg up and come back. So from here, you reach through, you sweep your leg around in a low semicircle and you come down. Okay, so from the side, in case it's a little bit difficult to see, it's a squat, it's a reach to the back diagonal, it's a come around and it's catch. Okay, so that's the exercise. Are you ready? We're going to lean with our hands, but not our full weight. We're going to come down. We're going to sweep behind, stick out this hip to the back wall. Sweep around and down. And behind, sweep around and down. 
and behind, sweep around and down. And of course, Minnie's bowl has to be exactly where my foot has to go, down. And behind, sweep around, down. We're gonna add on to this. We're gonna do this one behind. Then we're gonna come in, back behind, sweep around and down. And behind, come in, behind, sweep around and down. Behind, so I want you to think inner thigh up when you poke that toe to the back wall. It's back, it's in, it's back, it's around. Now, can we be up on both toes? Is that available to you? Come down, both toes, sorry, both heels up, in and back, Sweep around, it's down. And it's reach, in and reach, sweep around. It's down, in and reach, and sweep around. Come on, you can do it. In and reach, sweep around, and it's down. Back, in and reach, sweep around. I'm gonna move to the front again so you can see it better. So it's down, it's back, in and back, sweep around, down, and it's back, in and back, sweep around, just four more. All the way back, sticking my hip out, around, down, and back, in and back, sweep around. One more, in and back, Actually, it's one more now, isn't it? It's in, in and back, around and down. Oh my gosh, did you feel that? I definitely felt that. The next one, you can put your elbow down. We're gonna hinge forward, stick our butt out towards the back, light bend in this front leg. We're gonna bring our leg up sideways, kick to the front, kick, kick to the back. That's it, front, kick, kick. Front, kick, kick. So this kick here is not in line with your hip, which would be here, it's in front. Kick, kick. In front. Kick, kick. I want you to keep your leg up as high as you can. Okay, and then make sure the weight is towards the instep of this supporting leg and in the heel. Kick, kick. It's front, kick, kick and front, kick, kick. Come on, you can do this. This one is not a brain strain. So just think about the burn. <sighs> Supporting leg is really gonna feel it. Front, kick, kick. Two more, and back. Last one, and back, and just a few to the front. Tap, and lift, tap, and lift. Come on, tap and lift, don't lean too much on that chair. I mean, you are, but you're also using your core. And lift, tap and lift. Can you do a few raising up on the toe at the same time? And lift, tap and lift. Just five and four and three and two. And last one, hold it up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come down and stretch back for a second. Deep breath in and out. Last deep breath in. And we're up and we're on the other side. I don't know if you're sweating as much as me, but it's crazy right here. I'm dripping with sweat. Okay, we're gonna start on the other side. So this time, your hip is kind of about central to the chair. This outside heel is up, and you're gonna come down. Then you're gonna shoot the leg behind. Now here, I want you to really think about lifting up through the inner thigh, and then around and down. Shoot behind, around and down. Shoot behind, so when you shoot your leg behind, the supporting hip, is pushing towards that wall, okay? So you're getting work in both sides, around and down. Shoot behind, 
Keep your leg off the mat when you shoot behind. It's engaging your inner thigh, so you need to keep it up a little bit. A few more, and then we're gonna add on that knee raise. Keep breathing. Behind, the weight is in the heel of the supporting leg. Three, and two, and last one. Now shoot behind, knee, shoot behind, and back in. Behind, knee, you can lift up a little bit here, and back in. Up and around. Keep your leg super straight as you shoot behind and bring it around. You're only bending as you come back into that squat, okay? Keep it straight and then bend. Two more like this. And then guess what? We're gonna attempt it with our other heel up. Shoot behind, around. Now come up on both, it's down. If you can, if you can't come up on both, just stay with the previous exercise. Up and down, around. It actually gives you a larger range of motion for that circle. And it's shoot behind. In, around and down. In, around and down. Come on, you can do it. I know the supporting leg is on fire and that's a good thing. We need that. We need that pain. I believe it's beneficial for you. Three, and behind, around and down. Two, up and back, around and down. Last one, in and back, around and down. <laughs> That's a tough one. Okay, so now you get to put your elbow on here and we're going to bring our leg up to the side and then kick, kick. So it's front, kick, kick. You're coming past your hip line. You're not going in line with the hip. You're coming past it and shooting to the front as far as you can. So keep your bend in the supporting leg, keep it the weight in the heel and towards the inside of the foot. And your leg, your inner thigh is facing the floor the entire time, right? And you're keeping the leg up on the same horizontal plane. And back, back. If you can't go this high, that's okay. Just drop it a bit. Breathe. But once you find a level, commit to that level. Back, back. Back, back, four more. Back, back, squeeze your glutes. That's what this is for. Squeeze your glutes on the back. I think that's two more. This is the last one. Back, back, now on the angle, tap and up on the angle. Bend your supporting knee, down and up. Down and up, keep that turn out and you want your leg to come forward, okay? Not in line. A few more, and then we're gonna come up on the toe. Three, two, and one, and it's down and up, up. You can come down and up like a calf raise. You can do that, or you can just stay up. And then that means you have to do a little plie in the back leg. Four more. And three, I think that's harder than coming up and down. Two, one, keep it up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Done with the chair. Oh my goodness, we're flying through this, but it's a tough one today. Okay, we're coming into one down dog exercise and then we're side lying. So if you can't do down dog, you can do it in all fours. But if you can do a few in down dog, please try. You're pushing out of your shoulders and you're gonna come up. And if you can keep your heels down, you can. And I want you to look between your arms. So don't 
look ahead, look slightly below towards the center of between your arms and legs and then bring your back leg more central, okay? That's gonna give you a better stable base of support. From here, we're gonna bring the knee in, shoot it up, bring the knee in, shoot it up. So you're coming center and back, oblique and back, center and back, angled and back, center and up, and you are going forward and back a little bit with your upper body too. So you're almost going from down dog to above your wrists. In and out. Three more like this. Shoot it back all the way, extend. Two. And last one and now keep your legs straight we're going to come around tap and sweep it up around tap and then sweep it up straight tap the floor sweep it up if you can't do this this is your option up and down okay it's a lot easier so if you can do a few up here just do a few if you need to put something underneath your wrists to help you out you can do that, some yoga blocks. And it's up and it's tap. Three more. And it's tap. Last one. And it's tap. And it's hold it up and just pulse, pulse. Really nice straight leg. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job changing sides. So. Same setup. I'm changing sides, you don't actually have to. Same setup. Come into the down dog, and we're gonna raise our leg. Make sure you're nice and stable. We're gonna bring the knee in, straight up, then to the outside of the elbow, straight up. It's in, up, elbow, up. You're almost coming into a bit of a plank, and then side. So some oblique work, a bit of a bonus for you, some arm work. Make sure your leg goes nice and high and you really squeeze the butt every time. Across and in, across and in. Four more, side and in just three and in two and in and last one and in now we're going to keep the legs straight and we're going to tap circle to the front and back up circle to the front and back up and this is where you've got the option to come down but if you come down here, I want your legs super high, okay? Super high. And do a few in down dog and come down to your knees when you really can't hold yourself anymore. You need to keep trying. Don't just say I can't do it and don't try. I understand if you have injuries. I understand if your wrists hurt too much. Maybe make fists. Find a way to do at least one rep. Three, two, one, stay up. And little raises. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And you're down. I am dripping so much with sweat. I don't know if you can see it. It's like ridiculous. I don't think I've sweated this much as long as I can remember in a video. It's like dripping off me. You can see it on my top a little bit. Okay, guess what? We're side lying. Now I'm going to stay up here. 
If you want to, you can come all the way down and just put your hand behind your head and those hips are stacked. We're gonna go forward with that leg because we love that move, right? So it's not in line with the hip, it's more forward. The more forward, the harder it's gonna be. We're gonna go forward, we're gonna sweep back, we're gonna go forward, we're gonna push back. So it's forward, sweep, forward and push. Forward, sweep back, forward and bend press. Forward, back forward and press. So when you're pressing with that flexed foot, I want you to imagine heavy cement block, then point and sweep, point, heavy cement block. You're pushing it back or you're pushing a door shut. Push that door shut, it's a fire door, it's heavy. And back, keep your belly in. It's gonna help support your lower back, sweep. Forward and push, front, and back, front and push. This large range of motion isn't super hard, right? So guess what we're gonna have to do? We're gonna have to make the range of sm motion smaller in order to feel that burn. Two more sweeps like this. This is the last one like this. And keep it to the front. Now if you wanna move your hand out of the way, you can. If you wanna straighten your other leg, you can. Up and tap, tap, tap. Now, if you want to keep that leg in, you can. If you want to keep your arm to the front, you can. But I want you forward from the center line, okay? If you were to draw a line, it's not very far forward, but keep it forward. Four, three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna bend press just here. Bend press, bend press, that's all. That's all we're doing. Just a few. Keep your hips stacked. Eight, seven, keep your leg up. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Push that cement block away. Maybe lean your chest forward a bit. And we're just gonna keep our legs super straight and just lift up here. So I need you to squeeze your entire leg, including your glute. Keep it slight to the, to, slightly to the front and squeeze and raise. Keep it as far back as you can, but keep it straight, okay? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now bend, press. It's a tiny bend, it's a big extend. Press, 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 come on. That door's still there, that heavy door. It keeps trying to open. Someone's on the other side trying to get in and you're like, not today, not today. We're gonna keep that door shut, shut, okay? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we're on to the other side, sweet. Easy, right? Or maybe not. Okay, remember, if you're up here like me, hips are stacked, push out of your waist. You can keep that leg bent, or you can keep it straight if you wanna be super hardcore here. We're gonna start with our leg, coming all the way to the front and we're gonna sweep. Then we're gonna come back to the front. We're bending and pressing away. It's front and back, front and press. Front and back, front and press. Point, 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 flex, press. Point and flex and press. So your leg is staying up. You're never touching your thigh to the bottom thigh. You're trying to keep it high, okay? And press behind. Press behind. If you're really pushing out of your waist, you should feel your entire core engaging here. You should feel even the top portion as you're swinging that leg past your center line. You're feeling every part of your abs engaging. Bend, press. Just a few more of these. Keeping your outer thigh to the ceiling the entire time and keeping that leg stick straight until the bend. Stick straight, engaged from toe to hip. Two more. Up and back. Last one, up and back. 
and keep it here. We're just doing those raises. If you want to put that behind, you can. Just raise it up a tap. Really try to straighten through that leg. If you can stay more forward, it's harder. And if you can bring that leg in closer to your head, that's harder. Oh, can you feel it? Can you feel it? I hope so. Otherwise, I'm not sure if you're human. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Just bend, press here. Bend, press, keep it up. Bend, press. Do you want to try and straighten the other leg? Oof. Don't slouch, I found myself slouching. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And push that cement block behind. You're keeping it as far back as you can and you're gonna raise it. Raise it. You can twist your body slightly to the front, but I want your kneecap to the front, okay? You're not turning down, you're not turning up. Your hips are still stacked and you're raising it, raising it. We're nearly done, people. Up and up, really squeeze, really stretch. Think about stretching that leg. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and tiny bend, big press, press, press. Remember the fire door, not today. Whoever it is, whatever monster is on the other side there, we are closing that door because we've got such strong butt cheeks that we can close any door of any weight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Done, 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 done. Guess what, lie down. Ah, oh, breathe. Figure four stretch. So it wasn't really that difficult. There were exercises in there that were very challenging, not just to your body, but also to your mind, or the combinations. Your brain doesn't really like all that. Your brain's like, just give me straight squats and then I'm fine. But all these combinations, they force your brain to fire, bring your leg into a hamstring stretch, to fire all of your supporting little tiny muscle fibers because they don't know what you're gonna do next. Are you gonna fall over? So the brain's like on high alert, bring it out to the side, and it's making your body fire all these little muscles to protect you, because that's what the whole point is, right? Your body's supposed to protect you from dying. So the more I torture you, the closer to death you are with my workouts, the more muscles you're using. Is that not great? Now you understand why I try to nearly kill you each time. I come across to the back, and I'm doing it to myself too. And yes, I know that's called masochism. Is that even how you pronounce it? I think so, it sounded official. Open your hip. Deep breath here. And then other side, figure four. Bring that in. So I know I said it was just a legs workout, but obviously we did work our glutes a lot. We worked our hips. We worked our abs. We worked some upper body holding ourselves in those down dogs. So it's more like a total body workout, right? With an accent on, on legs. Nice hamstring stretch. Doesn't have to be far in. I just want it straight. So if you're bending here, don't do that. Just come to wherever you can keep it straight and then slowly bring it in and just come to that point where you can still stretch out fully behind the knee. You're trying to stretch, right? There's no competition here. Now bring it out to the side and so you're gonna engage your inner thigh, stretch at the same time. You can keep your leg up, it doesn't matter. The main point is stretching this back leg. And then just bring it over. Keep your shoulders on, on the mat and look towards the back. You can push down on this front knee. It should feel good. It's not supposed to be painful. So just come to your point of stretch. And then just open out and relax those hips. And maybe come into a happy baby because we're so happy that this is over. 
rock through that spine a little bit and just roll yourself up and come into a spinal rotation side to side and over and forward forward and over and side to side and just interlace behind and pull your shoulders back and that is it thanks so much for joining me for all about the legs combinations i hope you felt the burn and i'll see you at the next segment bye for now